Hello, welcome to the Harmonica Barge. Let's talk about Shaker. Just before we get into that, do like, subscribe, give me the thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. That helps out the channel and blah de blah de blah. I've got my shaker. I've got this is made from two yogurt pots. My friend made this and stuck them together. You can take a shaky egg or anything you can get. If you don't have that, just get a container with peppercorns in. Steal it from the kitchen. That'll do. That's fine. Once you lock the wrist, if you're right-handed, imagine you're like shaking your fist at someone like, Oi, get out my garden. Or I don't have a garden here, but if you've got a garden, like, Oi. And I'm like, actually, you could try this, like I'm aiming my fist, one and two, and we'll count it like this, one and two and three and four and one and two, and wrist stays locked, yeah? Move from the elbow, a little bit of movement in the arm and the shoulder, you know, but it's just a byproduct of what's going on here. So once you're doing that, like literally, you see people with shakers often when they sort of first play it, and they're like, and it's kind of all that time because the thing with the shaker it's got to be it needs to be reasonably regular you know it's got to be in time because you're a percussionist and other people are going to be listening to you depending on the kind of music you're playing so we'll just get that started grabbing your shaker one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and shaky egg any kind of shaker you've got doesn't matter I've got a big one here, one, same thing, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, you'll notice you get this sort of like little ricochet, not really a ricochet, but a, a sympathetic shake when you come back. If you can try and ignore that, not listen to it, I know that's not very easy, and just focus on the one and two and nailing that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So once that is happening, one and two and three and four and. I would suggest at first try a nice simple chord pattern. Something like, how about the train? Everyone likes a train, right? Draw, draw, blow, blow. Holes one, two, three, four. that way I'm syncing up every chord with every uh, uh, uh. of course you've got to think about the draws and the blows let's do an extended train three in one out Mixing in a few single notes, that's kind of fun, I've never done that before, I was just hitting like a two drawer and then a chord. So I've got a two draw, chord draw, two draw, chord blow. Oh no I can't do it, wait there. this I think is to just pick something really simple at first because we're all about the groove you know we're not trying to be Charlie Parker on the harmonica here I mean yeah you can do it if you can play really complex stuff but I just want to get that and go a bit faster something simple draw 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 blow mix a few single notes in if you can if not just keep the chords going One and two and one and two and one and two and. Now you'll notice there that I snuck in. I just do this almost without trying. Okay, I'm first now. We're going to do something called accenting. Accenting, just playing a bit louder, a bit more velocity. Oh, sorry, that's the washing machine draining. We've got a new washing machine on the barge. It's so exciting. One and two and one. Where was I? 
accents on the beat one and two and one and two and one i'm still doing exactly the same i'm still going one and two and always out one and two out one and two and one and two and you could count to four one and two and three and four we'll just go to two for now one and two and one accents come in on the one and the two seems simple right one and two and one and two and out 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 everything's out here one and two and. cool so if we put that with the groove oh well, that's a b flat c c c c one and two and three and oh no we're not going to three and four one and two well sorry it's monday one and two and one and two and you know okay it's kind of basic speed that up a bit and what you get now with this accent one and two and that's got a lot more groove a lot more movement this one and two and three because you end up getting the sympathetic shake when you come back if you do it without any accent at all and two and three and but when we get this group one and two and three and four and one and two so if we tilt the speed up without the accent i'm still just going with the accent if I start to slip in a few doubles here on the harmonica but now we're getting into doing something with our breathing which our hand isn't doing so it gets a little bit trickier so with this you just got to take your time and build up gradually so, so I'm going to try and do this on that out breath on the chord I'm going to go for two so I'm going to go harmonica wise in out out in 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 out out so i'm going to have two out for every one of that so if i do that slowly but if i start to speed that up now bearing in mind that you're going to build this up nice and slow okay i've got something to work with there i've got a groove i can get into some different ideas on that which I'm not going to go into too much today because I just wanted to give you a basic shaker thing to work with drum solo I should never beatbox so do apologize for that Back to our original pattern. Still nailing that accent on the beat. If you're into this kind of stuff, do check out my in-depth lessons. There's quite a lot that have got added percussion sections for shaker and a bit of washboard as well. So do take a look at those. fun this is too much fun uh, grab yourself a shaker get on ebay they're only like a couple of quid or whatever um, steal the pepper pot go forth and shake and have fun and enjoy i'll see you for another video very soon take care bye bye